This is the Crest brake pad advancement tool. Features a tool to first measure your rotor to give you a starting point, and then individual spacers from 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.6, 1 1.8, and two to help you precisely advance your brake pads forward, reducing the brake lever throw. If your brake pads have too much stroke and hit your fingers or the handlebar when engaged, this tool will precisely advance the brake pads closer to the rotor, which will reduce how far the brake lever is pulled before contact is made between the rotors and pads. First thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the rotor. We're going to start with a 2. If it's good in the 2, we're going to go down to the 1.8. It's snug in the 1.8. And we're going to go down to the 1.6. It doesn't fit with the 1.6. So that gives us a 1.8 millimeter starting point for our rotor thickness. Next, we're gonna pull the wheel out. So now that we measured our rotor thickness at 1.8, we're gonna go ahead and start with the 1.6 millimeter spacer. That's gonna allow us to advance our brake pads forward 0.2 millimeters. I'm gonna put the spacer between there, just like the brake rotor, and then give the brakes a squeeze. Now we're going to put the wheel back in and test where we're at. With the recommended bleed procedure by SRAM, the brake lever pulls to 45 millimeters. After adjusting to the 1.6 millimeter spacer, our brake lever pulls to 50 millimeters, reducing the lever throw by 5 millimeters. If that's still too much lever pull, you can go down one more size. So we, were, we did 1.6 originally, now we're going to be at 1.4. Put that between the brake pads squeeze the brakes. This advances the brake pads forward another 0.2 millimeters. With the 1.4 millimeter spacer, our lever pull is right at 55 millimeters now. If you found that your brakes are rubbing, you may need to just reposition your caliper. If you can't get your brakes to stop rubbing, you may have advanced the brake pads too far forward. You need to use a tool to push your pads back in and start the advancement procedure over again going up one size of spacer. So if 1.4 was too far forward we're going to go back up to the 1.6 place it back in and squeeze the pads again. Now we're going to put the wheel back in and test where we're at. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, you can go to crest-tool.com to buy the Crest Brake Pad Advancement Tool.